Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Zachary Gutherman, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you all my thoughts on the 2020 Lego Harry Potter Diagon Alley. The set released in September of 2020 for $400 US. And in this video, I'm just gonna give you all my thoughts on the set, what I think of the set, if it's worth the price, and a whole bunch of other stuff involving this amazing Lego set. So without further ado, let's begin. So Diagon Alley, this set is massive. It is without a doubt the biggest Lego set I've ever purchased. For $400, I think this set is an amazing, amazing value because you're getting four Lego modular buildings. You're getting four modular buildings there. And yeah, they're only half size. You know, they're built on a 16 by 32 base plate as opposed to a 32 by 32. But that doesn't really matter to me. I just think they're so awesome. Just, it's such an awesome set. Each of the buildings is really well detailed and it is fully detailed on the interior, which is really awesome. It is not modular style, meaning that you can pull off the tops of the buildings, but you can connect them using the standard Technic pin uh, system. And one thing I found interesting with the set is that they actually only use one Technic pin to connect all the buildings. So it's actually really interesting because they don't, you don't have to like use force to pull them apart, which is really good. One downside of that though, is that they are gonna not always sit straight on the first time pulling them together, but that doesn't really bother me. So where to begin with this set? Cause this is a really great set. I think um, my favorite thing with this set is actually box number 21. And if you don't wanna know what's inside box 21, just skip ahead to this time right here. But I have to talk about it in this review cause it is honestly the best thing about the set. So inside the box, you get a little plaque, a black plaque that has Harry and Hagrid on it that says, welcome Harry to Diagon Alley. And I love that Lego did this. They put it in like a secret box instead of like just part of the set. And the great thing about that is that because they put it in the secret box, they're not advertising it on the front of the box. And it's kind of like one of the UCS Star Wars plaques. So the way I see it at least is it's kind of like how they would do the plaque that shows like, oh, Mos Eisley Cantina and it comes with X, Y, Z, it's this big. They kind of did a similar thing for the set, but instead of going into the details, it just has the quote. And I think it's, first off, it's just such a great collector's piece. It just looks so nice there. But what's even more impressive about it is just that they kept it a secret. And because Lego kept it a secret, they're able to sell the Diagon Alley set as more of like a play set or collector set rather than a UCS set. It's not the UCS Diagon Alley, it is Diagon Alley. And essentially what that means, if you're a big Lego fan, you'll know. It basically means that since they're not marketing that it's like a collector set for adults on the outside of the box because they wanted to keep it hidden for whatever reason, that means we don't get those hideously ugly black Lego boxes, which honestly, is great because those black boxes look terrible. Um, you know, picture the most Isley box, but with Diagon Alley on it, and then compare it to the actual Diagon Alley box. Thank God they decided not to do that for Diagon Alley. I think that kills Lego sets so, so much. I'm probably gonna do a whole video on that at some point, but I'm just so, so glad that they decided to keep that a secret. It really is awesome. Other things to love with Diagon Alley, well, we get 15 minifigs in this set, and let's be honest, everyone loves minifigs, and I think the selection here is pretty good. Um, I don't really think there's any that you should not want in the set. You get some new characters too. We get Lockhart for the first time who looks amazing. We also get the Ice Cream Man. Um, I forget his name, but we get the Ice Cream Man. We also get the Daily Prophet Photographer all for the first time. They all look great. You get Fred and George. Their prints are even different on the torsos, which is awesome. Just so, so much good with the set. and. Like I said, all the buildings do look really good. I think my favorite is definitely Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. I think that one looks great. I also do love all the others, except Quality Quidditch Supplies, I think is a little bland on the outside of the building, especially on the upper part with all the pink. I don't know, that just doesn't really work for me. However, they do fix it with the bottom with the way the windows are assembled. So definitely, although it's not the most pretty looking building, I think the build of it is actually still worthwhile. And the interior of that one is great especially because of the inclusion of two very awesome rare Lego torsos. And you know, they're pretty good. They don't make sense for the set, but they're very, very good. And yeah, that's really honestly my thoughts on the set. I think it's a great Lego set. Absolutely a great set. One of my favorites of all time. It was so much fun to put together. I just had a great experience with it. You know, I did buy the set day one and I took my sweet old time building it, you know. I didn't rush to get it built to get a video out on it. I just really enjoyed it and I hope you guys liked seeing a glimpse of the set in the beginning portion of this video as well. I gotta be honest, it's a great set and I'm really looking forward to adding it to my city. 
Anyways, that's going to be it for this video though. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know with a comment what you think of this style of Lego video of just giving my thoughts on a set rather than showing all the details. I'm kind of interested in it. I think this style is going to work a little better for me, but I'm also curious as to what you guys think. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video though. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you all again in my next video. Yeah.